guys so today i am back filming in my car again so if anything is going on outside just ignore that um but today i have got the may fright crate box to show you now for anyone that hasn't seen me open these before there is two different options there is a 30 dollars box and a 20 dollars box now i always get the 30 dollars box because that one has the resin item in it i think if you get the 20 dollars box that's the difference between them it doesn't have the resin like figure or bust in it um so that's kind of the main reason i get the 30 dollars one but I'm just having a bit of like a love-hate relationship with them at the minute. Now sometimes I get Fright Crate and it's amazing and sometimes I get it and it literally sucks and I feel like for the last few months they've just kind of all sucked. Now I know that that's just a personal opinion and I know that loads of you will love the stuff that you get and I think sometimes if you're more of a horror collector then you will like the boxes more. I don't really collect stuff like um posters and things like that i love all the weird like little things they put in it but for example the cardboard like standees that they send or the 3d posters they send like i don't really want any of that stuff so to me they've just not been amazing lately now um, I do have the next two boxes ordered. The next one has a Gremlins theme and the one after that has like a big mask that they advertised in it which looks amazing. But after that I feel like I probably won't get them anymore for a while. At least just have a little break from them. If you order them to the UK they're about £46, £47, something like that. So it's a lot of money and I'm just not loving it. Um, if they have amazing themes in one of the boxes after that, like if they have The Crow, The Craft, like any of my favourite films, then yeah, I'm going to get it because I'm going to hope that it's like a good item. But otherwise, I'm probably not going to get this for a little while after the next two boxes. Um, so like I said, this is the May one and I feel like this is probably my least favourite that we've had in a while, personally. Like I said, I know loads of you are probably going to love this, but for me, these are just not my kind of items but i have it and i'm going to show you it anyway because i know a lot of you like the unboxings so we're just going to show you what is in it so the first item that we have on top is our t-shirt you pretty much 90 percent of the time always get a t-shirt and this month the theme is nightmare on elm street so this is pretty cool um it's a very old school sort of design some of the t-shirts are amazing and some of them are just a little cheesy i feel like this is kind of a little bit cheesy but it is nice though um not my absolute favorite one that they've sent but at least i like the film Nightmare on Elm Street so I probably will end up keeping this one. I did order it in a medium for a change but I think I'll probably go back to small because it is quite big. Um, but that is our t-shirt. Then next we have our pin for the month and this one is from Dusk Till Dawn. So I will get it out of the little package and show you. The pins are always amazing. They always do really detailed cool like fancy big pins so it is really pretty but just not really a film that I care too much about so I probably will end up selling this or giving it away or something but it looks like this has two on the back so it doesn't spin around when you put it on whatever you're putting it on and that is that now next we have the universal monsters theme and when they said it was a universal monsters theme i know a lot of people thought it was going to be the creature mask which is apparently going to be in the box for this month so like two boxes time but i know a lot of people thought the universal monsters was going to be that and it wasn't so a lot were disappointed um and instead it was this which is a cushion cover now it's kind of cool like i showed this to someone else and they loved it for me it's just a little bit busy and colorful um it's literally just a cushion it's got like a zip across the bottom obviously you will have to buy a cushion to put in it it's just the cover um and on the back it's white like i said it's cool it's got all you know dracula frankenstein the mummy the invisible man creature from the black lagoon all the universal monsters all over it but it's just not really my kind of thing again it's too busy and colorful for my room if i had a full house then i would definitely you know 
put this on like the couch or something but in my little room I just don't really have room for more pillows and stuff so um, I thought it was going to be the creature mask and it wasn't it was this so I was very disappointed when I opened this and I know a lot of other people were but that is that anyway then next we have this which again is another nightmare on elm street item but when i saw this i don't feel like this looks like freddy at all and this is a sleep mask so basically um before you go to sleep you're supposed to put this like around your head to block the light out a weird item i feel like um i know a lot of males get this box and i really don't feel like a lot of males are going to use a sleep mask um i mean i don't even know any females that use sleep masks like out of my friends and stuff um but i don't know a very odd item and again like i said that just doesn't really look like freddy to me too much i don't know there's that anyway and then last but not least we have our bust and this is quite a big one this month this is the army of darkness item and it looks like this now i think of all the ones that i have ever got from them this is probably definitely the most detailed one um it's big and it has a really cool skull like stone design base but i think it's pretty cheesy looking i don't really love army of darkness so this is probably another thing i will end up selling um the reason why did i buy this box what were the themes again oh universal monsters that's why i bought this box because i thought it would be the one with the mask in it and it wasn't um so the rest of the themes definitely weren't for me this month um but yeah this was our resin bust. Like I said, super, super detailed. I don't know if you can really see it very well on camera. I just think his face looks a little weird. I'm not sure if it's maybe the teeth or something. Um, but it is a pretty cool one though. If you like this film, I feel like you'll really like this. It's very, like there's little bones and stuff on it. It's very cool. But just, not for me personally. However, it's very well done. So that is that. Um, and that was everything that was in Fright Crate for May. So like I said, definitely not my favourite box. Probably my worst box that I've had in a while. It is mainly my fault because I don't really like these themes. But I just feel like the items are getting a little less cool. Um, you used to get a lot of autographs in the box. You used to get a lot of very unusual things that other boxes didn't do. Now you're getting you know cushion covers and stuff and it's just i don't know it's weird like i said i know people will love this box and that's amazing if you do i hope you liked your box if you got it but it just wasn't my favorite so i'm gonna quickly go over everything that we got again so there was the nightmare on elm street t-shirt the uh, universal monsters cushion cover the nightmare on elm street sleep mask the from dusk till dawn pin and the army of darkness bust so all these things in the may fright crate like i said to the uk it works out about 47 pounds if you're in america this is the 30 dollar box and if you're in any other country then i'm not too sure what the price is you would probably have to check for your country um but yeah you'll have to let me know down below what you thought of this box did you like it and do you think that i should continue getting the other ones like i said i've got two more coming but after that would you still like me to continue getting them even though i don't really love them um would you want to see what was in them and stuff because obviously i do these videos for you guys so if a lot of you want me to keep getting them then i absolutely will um but yeah i hope you liked the video anyway if you did please subscribe i will put all the info down below for fright crate in case you want to go and check them out and i will see you soon bye guys